Good morning everyone, it's Tammy and welcome to my knitting vlog number 15. Today is January 12th. I'm not sure if this is going to post today or maybe perhaps tomorrow or maybe even later, but hopefully today or tomorrow. Um, it is Saturday and it is snowing outside at a pretty good clip. I don't know if you can see out the window. Well, you can kind of see that it's all white. But um, yeah, it's kind of cool that it is snowing and it's a great day to knit. So I thought I would take advantage of the fact that Dennis is still asleep and I am sitting here. I did not take a shower this morning, so I'm looking like a snack. I know. Actually, I know I'm not, but I don't care. You guys don't care. You're not here to look at me. You're here to see what's going on with knitting and to enjoy a little bit of chat, I hope, with some coffee. I am drinking, still using my knitting cup. I don't know why I love this cup so much. Well, yes, I do for several reasons. It's a perfect size. It's nice and cozy feeling, and it looks like a knitted pattern. How can I not love it, right? What's not to love? So, I have maple syrup, maple syrup. No, I do not have maple syrup in my cup. <laughs> Although that might be, no, I'm teasing. That would not be good. But I have maple flavored coffee in my cup. I have um, uh, French vanilla creamer and maple K cup that I got from Amazon. And I really like it. Um, it's not as good as the Cinnabon K-Cups, in my opinion, because I'm kind of hooked on those, but I really like this one. This is my second cup of coffee, and I have had a cup of water, and I'm going to have some tea next is my plan, because I don't want to have too much coffee. Although, is there such a thing as too much coffee? I'm really not sure. So, Anyway, let's catch up a little bit from last time. I think the last vlog was January 1st. I do have my Ravelry page um, pulled up on my iPad so that I can tell you guys more information about my projects. And um, I have not been watching a ton of podcasts. I kind of caught up with the ones that I've really been liking. And I will share, like I said, I'll try to share uh, what I found and what I like. And I've shared a couple of them so far already, or a few of them. So... I don't think I'm going to share a podcast today because I haven't really found anything new that I've been watching. Although I'm probably, I don't know, I'm not going to share a podcast because like I said, I just haven't found anything new and I haven't been watching a ton of podcasts, although I have been watching some, but I have watched The Marvelous Miss Mabel or Maisel or something like that. It's the second season and it's on Netflix. And I watched the first season when it was out like a year or so ago. And the second season is just as good. It really kind of grabs you. And she has a quick wit. I don't know if you're familiar with it, but it like takes place. I'm ignorant when it comes to times and all of that, but I'm going to say in the fifties and it's very uncommon that a woman has a job and it's kind of uncommon that people think that women can be funny is dumb because I'm hilarious. I'm going to put on some lotion. Um, so, uh, uh, it, she decides that she, well, she doesn't mean to, but she, she starts a stand up comedy thing and, um, she had some life issues and it made her feel good to do this. And it was so cute. So that's kind of what the story is about. And, uh, you should check it out for sure because it's really cute if you like anything like that. And then I have another favorite that I wanted to share, which is totally not related to just about anything on this channel, but it is the Greek goddess salad at Panera. Seriously, have you guys had that? If you haven't had it and you have a Panera anywhere in the vicinity, even if you have to go out of your zip code, which you know I don't like to do, but if you have to go out of your zip code for it, worth it. Holy shamoli. Now I get mine with chicken. I don't know if they automatically come with chicken or not. And that's part of the, you, you can get it as the, they have a you pick too. So I get that and I get a soup. Mostly it's the, uh, either tomato soup or the broccoli cheese soup. And I act like I do this all the time. I've only done it twice. Once when Katie was here and once all by my lonesome. Um, but it is so good. 
the Greek goddess salad is amazing. So I can make two meals out of it. I could have the Greek goddess salad for one meal and then the soup for the next meal. You could also get a sandwich. When Katie was here, she got a sandwich and the Greek goddess salad and she loved the Greek goddess salad too. So I wanted to make sure that I commented on that to let you guys know that it is fabulous and you should try it. Although not today because I am serious. There's probably at least two inches of snow out there and I'm not going out. I'm going to stay in and I'm going to make chili, I think, for dinner. I have stuff to make chili and I also have stuff to make that one soup at the Olive Garden that, I don't know, it has Italian sausage and kale and has potatoes, but I'm not going to use potatoes. I'm going to use riced cauliflower instead of potatoes. Um, chicken broth and it's just so good so I haven't made it with the I've made it before with potatoes and it's fabulous but I can't imagine it being bad with the uh, cauliflower either so I don't know which soup I might ask my husband which he'd prefer but he's still asleep and honestly neither one of them will take that long you can cook them in the crock pot if you want to or you can just cook them on the stove and I'm, I don't need to make it right now but I have the stuff for both of them I think I also have stuff for some more soup. And Fuzzy just jumped up here. Sorry, guys. Ugh. I'm not sorry that he jumped up here. I'm sorry that he's making the <laughs> the tripod move. I'm trying to get him to come over here, and he's not. So I pushed him off. <laughs> not really pushed him. Coaxed him. Don't get all excited. I love my cats. I love my dog. I love all animals. I love your cat and your dog and your ferret and your hedgehog. Mm, I really love your hedgehog. So, you know. I love me some animals. Don't get crazy. Another favorite from this week <coughs> and from last time I talked to you, I have a new real life friend. Oh, <laughs> I was trying to figure out a nice a, a way to say it, but I sound like such an idiot, but I don't know. I'm 47 years old and it's not always easy to find friends. You guys are great, but you aren't in real life, you know, and I don't really know you. You guys know me, but I don't know you. And um, although I consider you guys friends and I love the comments and I love chatting with you guys via that way, most of the time you guys don't even live close. Happens that there is someone that lives close. And we happened to run into each other at Hobby Lobby a while ago. I'm talking, could have been a year ago wasn't six months ago. It was longer. It was sometime between six months and a year ago. And, um, she saw me and she was like, I recognize you. You're, are you TT Scraps? And I was like, oh my goodness. And it made me feel so amazing. And you might have noticed in the comments, if you guys read comments, that she will comment on several videos. She's not a knitter, so I don't expect her to even watch this, but if you are, hi Lisa. Um, and say hello if you are. Excuse me, I don't mean to be burpy, but um, she said she made me feel like a celebrity, and she even says that you're the Fisher's celebrity because we live in Fisher's, and she's just adorable and cute. And so, after um, well, I think it was before the holidays, I said in a comment, she had texted me on Instagram or something, and I said, or DM'd me, I don't know, whatever the lingo is, I'm not hip with all the school kid stuff. Um, but she tech, she told me that she, I don't know what, and then I responded with, we should meet after the holidays for some coffee. And I half expected her to say yes. And I half, well, 30% expected her to say not respond or whatever, you know, cause you never know. I mean, it sounds good. And I'm often bad at that. Like, I'll be like, yeah, this sounds great. And I want to make the plans and I'll make the plans. And then I don't want to carry it out. So I wouldn't have been surprised if she was the same way because I understand how it is and it's scary to get out of your comfort zone and meet people and do things like that especially for introverts and people that just you know homebodies and I'm speaking to my, of myself so um, if that happens to not be you that's great but that's how I feel so I don't expect other people to feel differently if they do that's fabulous but if she didn't want to meet then I would have totally understood but all of that to say, good Lord, I'm rambling, rambling, that last Saturday when Tracy was here, and I don't even know if I told you guys that Tracy was coming, but when Tracy was here, we met at Starbucks and I have a new friend. Oh my goodness. We were there for at least two hours chatting 
and she is just amazing. I really enjoyed her friendship and it was so nice and I'm cautious in the way that I have been burned by friends before and oh my goodness, people aren't who they seem to be. But honestly, I don't feel that vibe with her. Although I didn't feel the vibe with my other friend either, but well, the other person, I can't even call her a friend anymore, which really is sad. It, make, it breaks my heart. But um, I really think that Lisa and I are going to be long friends and um, lifelong friends. And she, we've been texting each other and she's just fun. And I just enjoy her and she's crafty and she's making these wonderful baby booties for her niece's uh, baby shower that are just adorable. So it's awesome that she is into crafty stuff. She also has made like cards and invitations and stuff. She's remarkable. I had no idea that she was so crafty. And I am not kidding. She lives, I could walk to her house. I wouldn't, but I could. I mean, I'm thinking it's less than two miles away. And I'm not saying I wouldn't because I wouldn't walk that far. I'm saying I wouldn't because the way that you'd have to go. I wouldn't really want to walk. I could though, but I wouldn't probably do that. I'm thinking about it though. Can you tell? I'm like, hmm, I could do that and that. And... But seriously, um, you guys know that, well, you might not know, but I go to a Mexican restaurant a lot. And if you've watched my other vlog, you know that I do because I've talked about it before. But it's called El Rodeo. She lives right by El Rodeo. Super close. Amazing. So it's fabulous. So we're going to have to get together again and do some stuff. But I am so pleased that I met a new friend. And then um, she also got to meet Tracy, which was kind of cool. Because Tracy came and stayed with me from last Friday. So I don't know if you guys know this. Because it seems like it's been longer since I vlogged. So last Friday through, well, to Monday morning. She left on Monday morning. So I took Friday and Monday off so that I could... Uh, just play. We, um, I knitted, she played with her uh, traveler's notebook and she, um, we talked and laughed and she, ha she was watching the show. I even have debated in my head whether or not I'm going to tell you guys this because it's almost embarrassing and I'm thinking I'm going to save it for my plan with me video, but I'm not. I'm going to just share it here too because that's what I do. I'm an oversharer sometimes. What is it called? And I I did say it. I did mention it on a vlog. Oh, I'm not even remembering the name. Love After Prison or something like that. I need to get the name of it. Um, Love After Lockup. If you guys haven't seen that, don't. <laughs> If the title scares you, don't. But if you have seen it, tell me you're still watching it because it's like a train wreck. You just have to see what's going on. And these people are crazy. Fall in love with a prisoner. You're going to get what you're going to get. Wow. That's all I got to say. I feel sorry for some of them. And others of, others of them, I'm like, you big dope. But... I don't know. Now I can't wait for Friday night TV, which is never like me. I don't know any show on any night other than now. I know that this show is on at nine o'clock on Friday nights. Thank you, Tracy. And by thank you, I mean not thank you. <laughs> so anyway, should we talk knitting since it's 15 minutes in almost and we haven't mentioned much knitting at all? Um, whips. Oh, and I didn't tell you guys my little knitting story just so, but I, um, have been knitting for a little over a year. I started December of 17 and I started out when I was visiting Tracy in Chicago. Actually, I was there for a seminar, but, um, Tracy lives there, so it's nice to see her. So I kind of say it both ways, but, um, I was there and I started with a loom and I was knitting via some videos I saw on YouTube and then I wanted to use the sticks and so I started doing that and I love it. I am hooked. That's a crochet 
pun, but um, I do not crochet yet, although I hope to learn that sometime this year. That's part of my goals for this year. But um, anyway, let's get started and show you some finished objects. So first off, I have these funny looking slippers, which look really funny, but they stretch out really nicely. And these are for Katie, who is my daughter, who is 21 and she's in college. And I'm going to go visit her this week. But look, I mean, they stretch out real nice and they look cute. They're so cute, this little palm. So I made a pair of these for her and the, um, their palm, their palm slippers, I'm pulling it up on Ravelry so I can tell you guys the real thing. Um, they are pom-pom party slippers by the Wooliers. They are a paid pattern, so you need to get that. I'm using the Lion Brand Woolies Thick and Quick, and it took about a skein of it. I don't really know because this was a frog project. I don't even think it probably took a skein, but whatever. It took, it took this much to make these cute little... Um, slippers and of course you can make them any color you want you can do whatever you want and with the thick and chunky they were super fast so I'm talking about maybe three hours total for all of these and I'm not a super fast knitter contrary to some people I'm not I promise you so I don't know maybe four hours let's go with four just to be safe including the pom-pom and all of that and the pattern is really nice you don't have to do a heel or anything it's literally it, you start off with a rectangle and then you start going in the round. So I don't know, I love this pattern. I'm not gonna give any more away because it is a paid pattern, but it is very nice and I highly recommend it. So I got, I made those and then I am working on a pair for myself. I made these a little bit shorter and a little bit longer. And um, I haven't put the palm on it yet because I haven't made my second one. So I do the palms together, but this is what this one will look like. And, um, we're gonna have matching little slippers, which is fun because I'm going to see her on Thursday and we are going to have a little slumber party and we'll have little slippers and we're gonna do masks and facials and just have all sorts of fun. So that's awesome. So I'm halfway through with that, with that one. So that's a, oh gosh, that's a faux and a hoe, I guess. Um, I'm writing that down me because I finished the ones for Katie all right and then um, other finished objects I have some finished objects that I am very happy with so let me see which one comes up first and then the Erica so Erica is a r i k a and it is a pattern the Erica cowl by Jane Richmond and it is a paid pattern and it, I used Drops Andes for this. It's a chunkier weight yarn, and I love this pattern, and I love this yarn. I got the uh, Drops from an online shop called The Wool Warehouse. Highly recommend that, that shop. Um, very quick shipping, very nice customer service, and a plethora of supplies. And in my opinion, they have really good prices. So this fits over, you know, you wear it like a cowl and then it has these lovely fringes all hanging down. Now it did say to put the fringe all the way around. So I think it meant for you to put it all the way around, but I didn't want it all the way around. So I used two skeins of this and I got enough for everything. And then I have a bunch of fringe left over. So when I do it again, and I probably will with different colors or maybe for gifts, I will um, probably, well, I can count and see how many I did because each one of these is three. So three, six, nine, you know, I can count how many pieces I needed. Now, as I'm holding this up, you can kind of see a shift in the pattern right here. That's a total screw up. I messed up right here. I don't know what I did, but I totally got off. And then I seem to get back on track. So I don't know what I did, but I'm figuring nobody will notice on a galloping horse. And for my first project, I think it's all right. I don't, not my first project, but my first one of these. So I don't know, I feel pretty good about it. And I think it's just adorable. And everybody I've showed, nobody has said, what's that? Um, and it smells so good. I'm using my Luft 
Woolens uh, in Sugar Plum. Oh, the wool wash, it smells so good. So that is my first finished object and I am really kind of, I, I blocked it and everything. I'm excited to wear it. Um, I don't know when I'm gonna wear it yet, but I'm thinking I'm gonna wear it to work on Monday because I really like it. Sorry, my spoon is sticking out. I had a hard boiled egg this morning in a little cup and that's what that is, if you guys are wondering. And then this is, of course, my Kool-Aid or water. This, this morning is water. But um, yeah, that's so I, I usually to have two cups going. Then I finished two hats. One of them, let me see which one comes up when I pull up Etsy. Do, 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 do. Okay, the first one is the Wavy Legs hat. And this is by Jody Brown, who you guys might know from Girl in the Grocery Stores or Girls in the Grocery Store. She is, is one of the sisters on that vlog. But um, she, well, they both make patterns, and she made this wavy legs pattern, which I think is just really cute. It was a fun pattern to do, easily memorizable, and just fun. And I used some more wool from the Wool Warehouse. This is called Drops Lima, L-I-M-A, and I <clears throat> ended up using about 110 yards, which was about 1.1 skeins. So I used a little over a skein of yarn for this. Um, and then I put a pom-pom on here that I got on Etsy from Fuffa, or I think it's called Fabulous, but they have three Fs. That's why I'm saying Fabulous. Um, fabulous Palms. So you can check that out on Etsy if you're interested, but um, that was neat. And then I also have, look at this, a little, it's a faux leather tag that has my logo on it, TT Scraps. So I'm going to put these on most all of the hats that I make now because I think it's just adorable and this hat is a Christmas present but since Christmas is so far away I'm not even gonna mention who but um yeah this is what it looks like it's really cute and you could put this on whichever side you want but I think it turned out really cute and this color is called Ruby but it's certainly not Ruby it's more of a maroonish purplish this is a red, so you can see, I mean, this would be more ruby than that. So I don't know why they call this ruby, but that's the color they call it. And um, I love this design and I'm really crazy about the hat. So that's pretty cool. Now, the next finished object that I have is another hat. This one is called the braided hat. And this is from Laura Heisler. It too is a paid pattern, so all of the, these are paid patterns. And um, it's just got little braids all around, which is really cool. The pattern was really fun. If I make it again, I won't make it as big because this one is pretty roomy and it's very slouchy. So but I really like the color. And this one I used Malabrigo Rios, which you know I love. And it was um, the color Cereza. So I don't know. And I even kind of contemplated putting a, a palm on this, but because it's so slouchy, I don't think I'm going to. But I mean, I really like it. I think it's a really cute hat. I just, I am particularly not a fan of the big slouch, but other people are. So I don't know. Um, maybe I'll make it again just like that. And it does seem like it's really big, but it holds nicely to my head. It's not like it's, and I don't have a super big head. I don't have, I mean, I think I have a normal sized head. I think it could be a little smaller, I guess is what I'm ultimately saying. But I don't think it's so big that it's going to like fly off in the wind or anything. I mean, I think it's all right. Um, and so overall, I like it, but I really love the color. And I really love the way this loft, loft smells. Oh my gosh so good um so i will try to remember to put the link i'm gonna put that down here to this site link um uh tag site because i don't remember where i got them but i did do a video of them and if that hasn't posted yet it will soon so you guys will see like a video unboxing of these and they are just super super cute and I love hedgehogs, and um, that's what that is. It's like a little critter. And I know that I'm moving a little bit because 
Buzz is leaning against and he is cleaning himself, so. Chat, Fuzz. Do you need a bath right now? Of course you do. He's so cute though. He went back to licking his arm, so. Those are my finished objects. I think that's everything that I finished since, that's everything I've written down. Oh, I guess I can look on Ravelry since the last time I talked with you guys. Yes, it is. I um, haven't done anything with the dreidel, dreidel, dreidel shawl that I showed you guys last time. I, it's kind of in timeout because I'm still kind of mad at it. So it's still there. I mean, it's done technically, but I don't know. I'm not liking it. So that's that. And then my works in progress. Let's see. The ones I'm not going to show you are the Messenger Shawl. I have done nothing more with that, but it's still out there. Um, the Golden Hour Shawl, still out there. Have done nothing with, barely started it. And my Mood Blanket, um, I'm still in October for that. I don't know if I'm going to continue it, guys. I have been contemplating whether or not um, to finish it because I'm just not really into it right now. So I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do. I know some of you like to see the cats or the dog and here is Buzz. Say hi, say hi. Mm, he's so cute, he wants down. You want down? Well, you've been messing with me so I'm gonna mess with you. Monkey boy. I love you. Have kiss. Oh, thank you. I pulled him down, but he's going to jump right back up. I can feel it. Okay, so the things that I will show you, um, let's see. The first one it says is groovy. I think that's in this bag. Yes, so I am working on a pattern called groovy, and this one is a paid pattern, and it is a shawl or yeah, a shawl that will look like that. And um, it's really cute. I am using Drops Alpaca. And they don't have a good colorway, um, but the color is called Aqua Gray on their website. But the number is 7323. And all of this information can be found on my project page in Ravelry. So I'm not going to list it all below. If you're interested, you can go there to check it out. But um, this again is from Wool Warehouse, which I absolutely am loving. And I'm holding this double because it is really thin. I don't know if it's fingering or sport weight. Um, it says yarn group A. So I'm thinking that's probably fingering. So I'm using two strands of it. And I haven't gotten very far, guys. But... Um, it's a fun knit. It's just really kind of simple. Kind of. Uh, there's a couple things that I was like, what? Just to make sure I'm doing it right. Cause I don't know if you can see, but it like goes in, but that's the way the pattern goes. So, I mean, it's just, it's just cute. And it, I love the alpaca. It's really soft. I am really loving wool warehouse right now. I am not even kidding. I love that site. I actually have an order that I'm waiting on. I got bag two of three but I'm still waiting on one and three. And um, I have emailed them and said, I've ordered this and I haven't gotten it and everything else. I ordered um, two order. I placed two orders on the exact same day. The, both orders had three bags. One of those I think posted today. The other one hasn't posted yet because I am still waiting on two bags. But I mean, it came in like a week and a half and that's including the Christmas holiday and New Year's holiday. I got that one. I got that one really quick and have already started using the yarn and then the other um, I haven't gotten and I emailed them and said I've received one of the three bags but bags one and three didn't arrive and bag two arrived over a week ago or maybe just a week ago and so they said that they give a certain number of days and so they told me I think on the 21st or the 24th something like that 
that if it hasn't arrived to let them know and they will um, reimburse me or send it again. So that is really cool. I really appreciate their customer service. So Wool Warehouse, I am all about and I will definitely ask them just to resend because I want the stuff. And there's actually a sweater that I am drooling over called Peggy Sue, which may even be a free pattern, I don't remember, but um, I'm gonna make that for Katie. At least that's my plan and I wanna make it for her for Christmas. So I need to get started now because I don't know how long it's gonna take me to do sweaters. I have a couple, well, I have one, no, I have two on the line for myself right now. So um, yeah, I, I just like to have multiple projects going. So anyway, this one is fabulous. Oh, I always forget to do this, don't I? Forgot to put my instructions in. And it is called Groovy. And I think that you guys would like that. It's a very easy pattern if you guys are so inclined. The next one that I have is called the Stone Hand, the Stoneham Poncho by Diana Wall Walla. And it is from I first saw it, she made it exclusively for Espas Trico. And if you guys have seen my vlogs before, you know that I love <clears throat> Espas Trico. They are a Canadian um, yarn shop, and they do a podcast, so you can find them on YouTube. And they also do patterns, and they have yarn, so they are just fabulous. Their style is so sophisticated and classy and timeless. I just love them. And I don't know that there's a pattern that they've put out that I wouldn't wear. And there's not one that I don't at least like. And um, the amazing thing is that Taz is, or Taz, Buzz is trying to get my headband. Crazy cat. Um, that I wouldn't buy, but they are free. Most of their patterns are free. This one is a paid one. Now this one was designed for them by Diana Walla. So I think that she's already a designer and this is part of their, oh gosh, what do they, um, what do they call this? It's a collection that they have and I am not finding it. <sighs> Oh my goodness, did I write it down anywhere? Not in here, I don't think I did. Oh gosh, I don't remember the name of their collection, but they have a collection of patterns. I'm trying to see if it's anywhere in here. No. They have a collection of four patterns, I think, or maybe five. It has a poncho, which is the one that I'm doing. It also has um, some, oh, maybe it's on here. It has some mittens. There's also uh, slippers and a scarf. It doesn't say, but this is what it's going to look like, hopefully. <laughs> and it is just a poncho, just a. It's not like a full length sweater. So it just goes to here. And I'm not sure that I'm gonna love that, but I'm not sure that I'm not. So I'm gonna try it and see what I think. And then if I want to go longer, it's a top-down sweater, so I think I could easily do that. And then maybe I could repeat some of the fun color work down at the bottom. That's kind of my plan, that's what I'm thinking. But I'm hoping that I like just the poncho because I really like it on her. I just don't know on my body shape if I will like it or not. So we'll see, you guys will know. So I am using a kit that I purchased from Espas Trico, and you can go there and find it. And I'll try to remember to link it below. I'm gonna write that down too. Um, but it's just Espas Trico, and it spells like E space Tricot. Um, and you can find kits. And they offer all of these patterns in kits um, if they still have them available. But it comes with Kelborn Woolens Scout yarn, which is fabulous to work with. I have really enjoyed it. It's super soft, super nice, and it just knits up really quickly and really nice, and I'm loving this so far. So this is the turtle. This is the top down, and there's three colors. There is a um, gray heather, a charcoal heather, and a coral heather, and then with my coral heather, I am holding Shibui Silk Cloud in the color Poppy with it. So I do a double strand. So here is the charcoal, 
the gray, the uh, coral, and then here is my Shibui Silk Cloud. So I hold those two together when I'm doing the coral portion of this. And it's really cute. Honestly, I'm not sure that it adds much because it's such a small portion of the knit and the the yarn itself is a little bit halo-y anyway. So I'm really not sure that I'm adding much. I may not continue with it, um, but there's not a ton of the coral, so I probably will. But the reason I may not continue with it is because there's another project that I want to use the silk on. And um, I'll have enough either way, but I was thinking it would be kind of nice to start with the other project. But I don't know. Chances are good I won't stop using it. I just don't know if you can even tell that I'm using it. That's where I was going. I don't know if I even need to waste it because if you can't even see it, what's the point, right? So, I don't know. But that this is probably... In all honesty, this is probably my favorite project that I'm working on right now. I love it, love it, love it, love it. And it's just fabulous. I'm, I'm using one of my little stitch holders too, stitch, stop, stitch stoppers. I got it on Etsy. I, I know I did a video on it and I don't remember the name of the store, but this is a little chicken and it's really cute. And I love them, they really work well. So if you guys are ever wondering about those, I recommend them. Okay, so I'm gonna put these back in my project bag. And the project bag, this one is one that I made myself. <laughs> and it's cute and functional, which is all I need. So there's that. And then, I don't know if I showed you guys everything. That's okay. I'm just going to keep on going. So the next thing, which is a whip, it's a work in progress. It's also kind of a... It's almost done, so it's kind of a hoe in the fact that it's almost done. Ooh, and I almost lost lost a stitch. I am actually currently working on this. I was working on it before I started vlogging, but I wanted to get this vlog in. And it is the Carlisle Cardigan by Tara Lynn Morrison. And this is gonna be for my daughter. I just finished one sleeve and I'm working on the second sleeve, and then I will just need to block it, and I will be done. So I'm hoping to bring this to her um, when I go on Thursday. I think I will have it done. I am using the Lion Brand Woolies Thick and Quick on this. Um, I don't know if she wants buttons, so I might bring some buttons and let her decide if she wants them, and then just put them on there if I am, because with this Lion Brand and the chunky yarn, it's you know, I can, she can still make it a bullet hole if she wants to. A bullet hole? What the heck am I talking about? A button hole? So, that's kind of cute. I am excited about that. I, I love, it's not kind of cute. It is really cute. And it's in a whole um, night and, good night and day or something collection that she has online or she has available. And I just purchased the book and... Uh, that's one of the patterns in it. There are several patterns that I'd like to try, but this one was my favorite, so I tried that one first, and I am loving it, and I think that Katie will really like it. So that's kind of exciting. And my colorway on that is Glacier, if you guys are wondering. It's the same one that I used for the booties, too. Next, I have in this other second project bag that I made for myself. I have the February Lady Sweater by Pamela Wynn, W-Y-N-N-E. This is a free pattern, and this is the first sweater that I decided to make for myself, and it's a little cardigan. It's really hard to see, but it has a little texture down here at the bottom, a little pattern. You can kind of tell up there, maybe. That's even better, I don't know. But it is the February Lady Sweater. So I haven't gotten to the part that it has the, I don't want to call it lace, but the yarn overs. I, I haven't gotten to that part yet. But So I'm still working. And it's a top-down sweater. And I have my little needle holder for this too on this, which is fabulous too. These are great as well. Um, I don't know which I like better, honestly. But this is a top-down cardigan 
and so far this is all I've done but I am loving excuse me this color it is English Rose and it is a Malabrigo Rios and I love it I love the squish of it I just love it I love this yarn it is one of my very favorite yarns you've probably heard me talk about it in every episode just because I love it so much so I haven't gotten very far on that yet but um, it's a fun knit it's pretty easy so far I've just been keeping track of my rows that I'm doing because it's kind of a boring kind of a potato chippy knit but um, that's okay and sometimes I like a challenge it just depends on how I'm feeling so that's another reason why I like to have multiple projects on because I don't know what I'm gonna feel like working on I think I'm going to finish Katie's sweater right now my plan is to finish Katie's uh, Carlisle sweater to finish that and then block that and then work on my Stonehem poncho that I forgot to put the thing on because I really I really enjoy this knit it is a fun knit and I did mess up and had to tink back a row and you know so I mean it's keeping me going and I am liking that and then the last whip that I have in my Mrs. Brown's bag which is also Jody Brown she's the one who makes these and I am using drops air from you guessed it the wool warehouse have I mentioned I really like that place and this is the turtle dove which I don't have the pattern for in my bag because I just use my uh, iPad to 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 look it up but this is an espace trico pattern that is free and it is a beautiful sweater and you've probably if you're watching my vlog you've probably seen this before because a lot of people are doing it because it's just beautiful and I am using I wonder if I put the color I think it's called Heather is the color yes it is and um, it is just a gorgeous pattern by Espace Trico and um, let me see if I can pull it up so you guys can see what it looks like if you don't already know but ugh, horrible but that's what it looks like the black one you can probably kind of see um, and then there's that one yeah so it's just kind of a basic sweater but what makes it so fabulous is the yarn and they used wool folk yarn which I don't know if you've ever used wool folk yarn but oh my gosh it is fabulous but this is a good alternative and it's way less expensive it's way more affordable and this is beautiful yarn I am loving it so I would highly recommend the drops air as well if you don't want to spend the money for the wool folk I would recommend the wool folk if you can afford it and you want to do it but for a sweater for me I mean it's a lot of money and you know I don't know I just don't not that I don't think I'm worth it because I certainly am but if I were going out to a store and purchasing a sweater I wouldn't spend that much so I'm not gonna spend that much unless it's something that I absolutely think is just like the uh, stone and poncho I would spend more money on that this one is kind of a basic sweater and this yarn is beautiful so it's a fabulous alternative to me I don't have any problem at all wearing this one instead of the wolf oak I don't think I will feel any less luxurious in this than I would in the wolf oak so I haven't really done much with this since I talked to you last I've been working on my other projects but I probably need to get with this but Honestly, this is just knit, 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 knit. So it's not very exciting, but it's fun and it's an easy pattern and I just need to do it. I probably, I need to just do it because I'd like to wear it, you know? So those are all of my whips. Um, I'm going to write them down real quick. So, okay, so Turtle Dove, the Groovy, the Carlisle. Um, the Stonem, what else did I show you? Oh, the February, that way I'll have them all down so I'll know what I talked about last week, or last, I'll know what I talk about next time, what I talked about this time, whatever. Um, and 
I have something new to show you, which is this Strickham planner. And it is a knitting planner. And I did a video unboxing of this that um, you can watch for more detail. But I am loving this planner. I am a planner person anyway. Always have been, probably always will be. Love, love, love the planner. Do you guys see fuzz over there? That's what I was looking at. Um, and I wanted something that I could keep track of ideas. Like, because I have all of these ideas and sometimes I'll buy yarn and then by the time I get it, I won't even remember what I, what I was buying it for. <sighs> so my word of the year is resist and I have done very well. I have not spent any money this year on anything that I haven't needed. I'm talking, I've only spent money on groceries, um, bills, and that's it. I've bought one pattern that was on sale and it was only on sale yesterday. Andrea Mowry is doing a sale of patterns each day. So check her out if you guys are so interested. She has, she'll do it on her Instagram. She'll show you a pattern and she'll have 25% off of it. So I'm allowing myself to get patterns like that that are on sale or whatever. I'm allowing myself to get whatever, but I just don't need anything. And I have piles of stuff because I haven't, I don't have anywhere to put the stuff that I've been purchasing. It's crazy. And I organized my yarn and I have all of that, but I still have bags of yarn sitting up there now because I have so much yarn that I, it's crazy. I really have gone a little nuts. So I am resisting this year. That's my word of the year and I'm trying really hard to do that. So I thought that having a place to write stuff, not my regular planner, but a specific place to write knitting notes and all of that would be great. And so far it has proved to be. So it just, I mean, I'm not gonna do a walkthrough of it, but it has um, places for you to keep track of each week and you can write in there like projects that you're doing for the week. Let me go to this week. So like I'm writing down if it's a finished object or things that I've casted on and maybe little notes to myself about things. Um, I have the Instagram nine. I did post nine things that I wanted to get done. One is the turtle dove, one is the stonem. I have a snowfall uh, hat and mitten set that I wanna do for my daughter. I have um, a cardigan that I found that I'd like to do for her, a uh, kind of a scarf thing called a Miss Marple. That's really cute that I wanted to do as a Christmas present for someone. Peggy Sue is what I talked about for Katie. There's a swan show that I want to do, a nail check or something, that's for me. Um, and then I have a hat called the Tread, which is what I want to use that uh, Shibui Silk Cloud in the poppy color for. So um, those are my nine that I wanna get done this year. And then I, there's a million other things, of course, that I wanna get done. So that's kind of how I'm using that. And this it has, a, has those pages for every week, but then it also has, um, you can do a knitting project overview. And then you can do a timeline. If you know that there's times that you want to get knits done, you can put them in here. I'm not really sure how to use that yet. I haven't really started that. And then knitting ideas. So these are ideas that you might have that you want to knit. Um, I haven't used that yet because it only has a space for 20. And I know I have a million more. So I'm trying to, I want to like settle down and, and figure it out. And it also has a place for you to write 22 different knitting projects that you've done. Um, yarn purchases which certainly wouldn't be enough for me normally but maybe this year it will be um and then it has knitting books and accessories that you might purchase and i haven't bought anything this year so i'm okay with that even has a place for you to write fiber festivals that you might want to go to and podcasts and yarn stores and then there's a place for sizes and measurements to your special people um and then it has an index for you to make lists and you can index them however you want. So I have on one of the full sheets, I have my Christmas knitting ideas and um, whether, and then I have a knitting page of things that I've finished. And then I also have like notes and I'm doing notes on my Carlisle sweater so I can make sure that if I do it again, I will know what I did. Um, then there's also a section, like here's the Christmas list that I'm making and I'm doing it however I want because it's all blank and it's up to you to do it however you want. There is a section that I was working on that I, oh, I think it's in the front. 
I showed you week two, but I didn't show you week one or the month. Okay, that the month view is what I think I'm looking for. Oh, it's a quarter view. So I'm kind of keeping track of the patterns that I'm doing, and then I'm going to like put how long it takes to do them. Now, not all of these are complete. Some of them I'm still working on, but um, I thought that would be kind of cool to see at the end of the year. Like, it took me five months to do this sweater. It took me 12 months to do this sweater or whatever. And then also there's a goals page, which is kind of cool. Gosh, I know there's some. Oh, here it is. It is like a this is January, this is February, and you can kind of keep track of your things that way too. I don't know, if the space is so small, it's really hard to write it all, but it's kind of neat. So when I've done a few things, like I have a little bookmark in here that I made, and um, you know, I'm kind of just making it my own with some stickers and some fun stuff, and I put a little pocket back here to hold these little stickers that I purchased with it, and all of that is shown on my, well, the stickers are shown on the video of this planner. So check that out. This is definitely one of my favorites this week or this podcast. I am loving this and I'm just excited to use it. I mean, it makes me excited just to see it. I'm like, oh boy, I get to write in it. So it's fun. And I'm also, I think I may have used her as a favorite before, but Wild Indian Fiber, I am just really thrilled with her. She sells um, my Malabrigo, Malabrigo Rios. She also sells other yarn, but um, check her out on Etsy. She is, her name is Kat Kerrigan, and she's a fiber artist, and she makes yarn, and then she also, um, or not makes yarn, she dyes yarn, and then she also sells yarn. And she has very fair prices, and her communication is out of this world. She is very, very friendly, very nice, very helpful, very generous. I can't say enough great things about her. So check her out at Wild Indian Fiber on Etsy. I will leave a link for her below as well. And um, I'm also going to leave a link for the Strick Planner. I think it's German. Um, and they have so when you're purchasing the strict planner you have to pick the English version so um well if you're English if you are German then pick that one so um but it's I'm, I'm loving it and I love that it says 2019 on the side so that you can have several years you know all stacked up in your library I just oh it makes me happy so ah, this has been a long vlog but check them out and those are my favorites and that's what I'm working on and until next time, happy knitting. Bye, guys.